What's up, guys? Welcome to episode two of Rolling Stone with Spinster Jones. My name's Matt, and in today's episode, we talk about some things that piss us off, our history with music, i.e. our backgrounds, where we started, bands we've played in, uh, we talk about some of our favorite shows, and a few other things. We crush some beers, rock some bong tokes. It's a grand old time. Hope you stick around right through to the end. And if you're watching on YouTube, you know, just give us a give us a little clicky click on that subscribe button. Drop us a like. Drop us a comment. Helps out with the algorithm. It can be a comment about anything. It doesn't have to be about the episode. You can just comment, hey, you know, big dicks. Big dicks in the ass. It doesn't matter. Just comment. All right, well, I'm going to shut the fuck up, and we're going to get through to the episode now. Bye. We are going. Are we going? We are going. What? Oh, yeah, we are going. Gator clap. One, two. Ah! Oh, you still keep fucking here. You got to keep that in there. <laughs> you fucking idiot. So we're gonna start. And yeah. Two, three, clap. Let's close. Come. We're in a band. <laughs> we keep time. So what are we talking about today? Uh, we we have we, a whole gang oh, yeah. of topics. We have oh, yeah. oh my god. Yeah, Halloween. That was uh, the hot dog hootin' it. Yeah, that was the topic. We've done some good Halloween shows, like the hot dog hootin' it was good. Last Hall- Halloween show was Halloween at the Old East was probably one of one of, one of the that was our first show together, was it? No. Uh, we first, played Brantford before that. First official. First official show announced he was the drummer. Yeah. Oh, I guess so. True. Yeah, we had a little wizard, a little tester show, I guess. Because we were trying to be sneaky about it and have you play Brantford. That's right. Yeah. But then fucking. Just to show someone, you chopped. Someone uh, leaked a video of it. Yep. Yeah, Brantford went well, though. <laughs> that was fun. Well, Halloween, yeah, that was probably the most fun I've had playing in a long time. Yeah. Fuck, that was a good... The dresses. Good. There's videos of it up, by the way. Yeah. Check it out. It was yeah. a good time. Yeah, the hot dog hootenanny. Yeah. The hot dog hootenanny. What a wacky show. It was what, Waterloo? Kid, uh, Cambridge. That was a Cambridge. 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 And Cambridge. 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 Yuck. Yeah. That's when your cum just comes out and just stays solid. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cumbridge. <laughs> <laughs> the diseases travel across the cumbridge and that's on horseback. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm fucked now. So sick, you fucking march an army across. Oh, man. Okay, hot dog hootenanny. Back on track. <laughs> you play with the Scraggs. Yes, I was. We were on tour that weekend. And you had the fucking trailer, because you, yeah. Because we played, like, the Friday, Saturday, and you played the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or some shit, or the Thursday, Friday. Yeah, we played, no, we played Brantford. Saturday. Yeah, because that fucking, uh, what's his name, Jim there, the owner. Oh, uh, yeah. We played a Sunday evening show at the Old East. Yeah, that was probably my favorite venue, actually. Yeah, that was a good time. Fucking intimate. It's tiny, man. I never thought I'd ever play a show in a hot dog store. Yeah. They had damn good poutines. Yeah, man. And, dude, the block party outside was sick. Yeah. Drinking beers in the trailer. Did you call it a hot dog store? <coughs> it's, well, they sell hot dogs. <coughs> it's a hot dog restaurant. <laughs> yeah, I've never played at a hot dog store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a real thing. It's not a hot dog store, man. It's a restaurant. It's like some trailer it's a deli. Place. It's a, not a deli. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Different place. That was fun. Old. Then we went out. Did you guys come to the club after? We went to the bar. No, I didn't. Dude, we fucking lost Garrett for like an hour. <coughs> of course you did. And then we were looking all over the fucking place for it. And then we were like, fuck, like we thought he like tripped out and went outside. But it was pit. Remember, it was piss and rain all night. Yeah. Yeah, it was rough. That's why we were hiding in the trailer drinking yeah. beer all night. So fucking, we're like. Looking around for this dude. And then all of a sudden, we're like, hey, I don't know where he is. We just started asking people. We're like, yo, have you seen anybody that looked like us? Because we were all in our fucking costumes, yeah. right? 
We went up to some dude and he's like, he's like, yeah, man, just like over on the dance floor, there's like a little bench, he's just sitting on it. So we put, sure enough, we go over, like everybody's just fucking dancing and getting bucked. There's Garrett, just full just, makeup, dressed on, fucking just sitting on the bench, just fucking all big, sitting back. <laughs> fucking chewed. Yeah, it was oh, a good yeah. time. <coughs> Played with like, some death metal bands. Dude, do you remember that dude's drum set? Oh my god. Yeah, fucking uh, from Kavara. Kavara, yeah. Those guys are yeah. sick, dude, but... That drum, man, that drum set took up like fucking half the room. The whole and he hot used dog store. Every, it was like a fucking 26 piece, man. He yeah, he's like, no, every, I need, I need. He my used kids. every fucking piece of it. <laughs> wow. You remember going to the LCBO and they wouldn't fucking give you booze because you had your face painted? Oh, like, was this is my crazy. ID. Like, look at me, and they're like, no. <laughs> yeah, look at you. He's like, dude, come on, man. Look, here's my, here's me, and this is me. So God, that was so fucking bad. I. I look like I'm 16, I had to buy you beer, isn't that silly? Yeah, that was fucking bullshit. <coughs> yeah, Someone I'm comes into your LCBO wearing black metal face paint, don't not serve them beer. The thing was, it was it was a Halloween show, but it wasn't exactly it Halloween yet. Yeah, it was a good time, Hot Dog Houdini. That was right before we got on the radio, the week after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Little Cambridge station. 92.9. That was crazy, man, because me and Sheldon were sitting in our driveway, and I like I made sure to double check that we get the station, so I like turned my car on, fucking switched to the station, came in, click. It was like pretty clear, but it was like some weird ass like, like almost like, not classical music, but it was almost like like movie music. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. like a fucking score from a movie. like movie scores and shit. That's what I'm saying. Dun, dun, and I was like, dun, dun. I was like, wow, well, okay, I was, maybe like when it gets later at night, dude. Switch the shit up. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we go back out. Cause buddy told us when we're scheduled to be on. So we go like. <coughs> it was like ten thirty or something. No, I don't even know what. It, yeah, like when we we're supposed to be on, like, we go and check. Like yeah. it was like forty minutes before we we're supposed to be on. So I went to double check, and it's like I turn it back on, and it's still the same shit. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, something fucking is up here. So I Google it. Dude, we were picking up fucking 92.9 from, like, across the, the drink fucking yeah, in the States. States shit. So I was, like, Like, Ohio? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. whatever. See, Cleveland. but when you Googled it, you didn't realize you could just stream it online. Well, I, I don't know. Like Matt did. It'd be pretty cool to be to see it. Because I hopped in my truck, and I couldn't catch it, so I give up. Well, not me, man, because we, me and Sheldon <laughs> fucking, we fucking hopped in the car, and we ripped to Waterloo. And, man, honestly, we made it with, like, 30 seconds to spare. We just, we're, we were probably, like, Three quarters of the way to Kitchener, we come up this hill to the lights. And fucking, we hear, what was it, not Fra Francis and Nick? Was that the. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We hear Nick on the radio. We're like, no fucking way, we got it. Pull right over. Then oh, boom, with fucking, his voice. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. I'd be like, this is the shit. This, yeah, we, we got, got the it. right stage. <laughs> yeah, I remember hearing him on the I talked to him on the phone. <coughs> and I'm like, hear me coughing? I'm like, fuck, yeah, he just ripped a big, dirty, big, dirty bomb poop. <laughs> and answered his phone, like, hello? Whoa. Yeah, man, all right, yeah, you guys are coming to the show, okay? And I'm like, holy fuck. But then I met him and I talked to him, and that's just kind of, that's how he is. And that Francis, dude, he's he's, wonderful fellow. he was cool as shit. He, he's fuck the one that gave us the tapes. He's got three, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that tapes. three nines, fucking bright orange hot dogs. Sorry, right? Francis, I can't remember your shit. I know it's three nines or something, so. but. Yeah, I don't remember at all. Right on the cassette tapes. We gotta go to Valley Village and get a fucking... Get a big old fucking vanilla ice boom box. Fucking... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. There's some, just some stuff kicked up around. We could play a cassette. Bring back. Yo, maybe the Camaro's got a cassette player in it. Probably. Yo. Yo, what's your favorite local band right now? What's local mean? Well, Ontario. Southern Ontario. I guess. I'm gonna say theoretically like from us right now. They're talented. They changed. Isn't it just TNB now? That's the theoretically. theoretically I know. Oh, they just go band. by TNB now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, my the TNB. TNB for me. The dumbasses couldn't spell it. TNB for yeah. me. Couldn't find them. <laughs> Yo, that's that's. I like that fucking Nintendo logo they got on their t-shirts. Everybody go check that. out TNB Scott Punk. Yeah, theoretically, he was very talented. Very good. Good oh, fucking. Yeah. Uh, Got, they got a horn section. Good song. They are good good songs. Good, good fucking yeah. songwriters. Them guys. Are solid. And they're good fun. We played with them a bunch of times. They're they're yeah. they're fuck. They're fun. Anyway, sorry. What's your favorite <laughs> yeah. local band right now? Uh, mine. 
Uh, I'd probably have to go with my fucking my beat down homies and fucking being from London. What does that even mean? Being from London. I don't think I've ever what kind of music I've never heard of. I uh, beat down like real heavy. Oh, that's not the band name. Oh. Real, real. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're, they're, oh, okay. Their name is Being, and they play beat. like beat down, oh, okay. like deathcore. Okay, okay. Real low and slow, heavy as shit. Like a little oh, bit of element to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, not stoner. Just fucking. Like, They're good folks, though. No, it's it's nothing you'd listen to. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Just That's why I don't know. Yeah. <coughs> low, and, low and slow, super heavy. To a low, die slow. Where we yeah, at? Yeah. I just said theoretically nameless. Oh, true. I, yeah. start, I started the show, man, and I smoked the weed, and I've been. Cause I know. I'm it's sorry. on you now. Yeah, my okay. It's your favorite local band, bro. I can't really pick a favorite, man. I really like, obviously, the homies in Space Weather, man. Shout yeah, out Chris. Yeah. Space oh, Weather. Shout out Chris, Diener, yeah. Mark, man. Diener Fuck. stole my heart with his guitar playing. Fucking oh, fuck fancy. Yeah. yeah. Fancy Chris. They shred. Also, man, the Phil Rejects, man, those guys are dope as shit, too. We were yeah. actually talking. They're like a hard fucking. They're not quite heavy metal, but they're like, they're hard. And they fucking get rid of Colton on the fucking vocals. Yeah. 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 Always tasty. Yeah. We, we were talking about maybe getting some sort of wacky gas ton here. We were they saying some of the guys from Space Weather would be good fun. Yeah. Just because they're, they're funny. They're fucking. Yeah, we can make it just a podcast, just Dean just shredding. They're funny. <laughs> yeah, they're funny. Dean's just like we could do the Wayne's World shit. Yeah. <laughs> we should actually, yeah. I don't know if he fucking he's paying attention, but if he is, we're <laughs> we should get him out to the swamp. Joe, you know, yeah. yo, he's got a YouTube channel. It's uh, Beaver Wards Beaver Diecast. Beaver yeah. Wards Diecast. Yeah, yeah actually, check it out. It's um, he built this like man. He built like a fucking crazy ass like Hot Wheels track in his basement. He's got all the videos and shit, man. Like, there's like mountainous terrain on this shit, like thousands of viewers or something now. It's, it's really been blowing up. He's been doing well for mm-hmm. himself. It's his job now. Yeah, yeah, he's doing that full time. Yeah, it's his job now. He's a YouTuber and he's just blowing up with this with this Beaverworks diecast, and that's 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 his company, I guess. Man, I miss playing with those fools. Yeah, we had a good. They're good guys to talk to. It'd be nice to have like anybody even sitting on the couch with us. Yeah, they're a good laugh. God, they're a good laugh. We've had some good time. Because it's, we're always playing in Brantford, the goofiest shit always happens in Brantford. We're from there, too. Yeah, yeah we're always playing downtown. <laughs> Uh-oh. We played a lot of shows with them, actually. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Probably more than anyone else. Yeah, we did the Club Envy <coughs> shit. Down at Club Envy, and then we did, um... Was that Marva? Yeah, a bunch of Marva shows. Yeah, yeah London, they played with... Yeah, they played lots. Yeah, yeah London, too. All right, let's talk about our history. Rico, tell us. Our history. What bands have you been in? Have you always played guitar and sang? Yep. What's your deal? Always. If anybody gives a fuck. Well, no, I started playing guitar when I was a mutt. <laughs> when I was a mutt, I still smelled like pee. A wee baby. I was like 13. Not 13, 14. I don't know. Just somewhere flopped out there. the womb, fucking shred. No, 13, 14, somewhere around there. Took me a long time to figure it out. I taught myself. So it was just kind of me fumbling. I'm still not good. <laughs> but I spent time. Writing songs instead of trying to get fancy, I guess. I don't know if that makes any fucking sense. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. If you want to look at influences and stupid shit, I went from like Bad Religion to like Bruce Springsteen to like Bob Seger. You know what I mean? Yeah, big boy. And then you kick Back into in. like Nazareth and then Sabbath. Now you're messing <laughs> with us. Yes. Son of a bitch! bitch. <laughs> fucking right. Razzmatazz and shit. Yeah. Are you gonna tell us about what band you're in, or is this yeah. what you're saying here? Well, you got you gave me the good you gave me the good lead. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I had a band, uh, Payne's Vanity. And we won a couple of stupid battle of bands, county fair bullshit, and uh, we were just like a bar band. We were just kind of bumming around, but uh, we recorded a little bit. So th- they used to kick you out of the show, like after you play your set, you gotta go because you were underage, right? More or less, depending on if like like I played a bunch of bar bands, so I played in like Ona with our old drummer Sticks, and that was like three hours a night playing. Shout out like, Sticks. Yeah, Sticky Icky, and that was like he kind of that's where I cut my teeth, just playing bars, and uh, I wasn't even old enough to be in there, but it'd be like as long as I wasn't, well, I was always drinking in the truck, 
but as long as I wasn't causing a ruckus or fucking trying to get you. Did you ever get Boston drinking in the bar? No. No, but it was always good fun. Dealt with a lot of drunk idiots when I was a kid, and I was like, we were playing in Mississauga, and this like drunk idiot comes up, no shit, it's like all fucking sweaty and fucked up. Oh yeah, I remember this dude. Yeah, and I'm like, whoa, man, and he's just fucking with me, and I remember just like, that was a whole situation, but uh, yeah, I never really dealt with that shit, being like some kid from Waterford, but I don't know, I figured it out real quick, playing bars, dealing with drunk fucks. People too drunk to get into the bar and you're outside trying to have a smoke and be like, yeah, you sounded good singing. And I wasn't even singing, I was just playing guitar at the time. Yeah, I was, no, I, was just, I was in a bunch of bar bands. Played Mustang Sally. You played uh, Pumpkin Fest a lot too, right? Yeah, lots of Pumpkin Fest. Like, lots Man, of, I miss Pumpkin Fest, dude. I played wow. the Norfolk actually in Dover lots, which was good good fun. They treated, they treated me good. Like I played Canada Day down there, which was just a big fucking party. Everyone in the street, it's it's uh, one of our buddies got fucking nailed for open container. He walked over with a whiskey glass. Fucking, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna blow him up, Brock. <laughs> fucking Brock walked in with a fucking, with a whiskey glass. Just right out of the front door of the bar. Just walked down the street. And they were like, really? Didn't Cassie that up with a bottle of wine at fucking Old East? Yeah. Was it Old East with a bottle, whole bottle of wine? Yeah. I think she bought a bottle of wine and they, yeah, they, was... they didn't know. Yeah, it was, it was like, cool. yeah, something. Or something. <laughs> something, yeah. She bought it, and that's why she was causing a ruckus, because they were trying to take her bottle of wine. She was like, of course. No, I did that in Norfolk with a bottle of beer. I just walked out. I literally, like, I knew the bouncers, and I was like, see you boys later. And then I walked out with my brute, and, like, they tapped me on the shoulder in the parking lot. They're like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, ah! here. I'm sorry, I'm an idiot. They're like, you're not driving, are you? I'm like, no, 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 no. No, they're like, you literally were like, okay, see you later, man. They're like, you like cheers us on the way out the door. And they're like, all right, good to go get them. <laughs> like, just walk down the front steps with a brew. Full of confidence. Speaking of brews, it's my first time drinking in 21 days. Yay. Yay. I off jumped the off the wagon. I did not fall. I jumped off. That's good. <laughs> They pulled them off. Yeah, they yeah they pulled them. Um, off. Yeah, no, I just played fucking like, lassoed me, fucking clown up. <laughs> the and fuck off that wagon. Vanity. It was just dirty, dirty bar bands and a little metal band. Like we recorded a little album and shit, but it wasn't really anything fancy. What about you, Matt? You? Yeah, Matt. Uh, Where'd you cut your teeth playing the fucking the old fucking? No, I've never been in any other bands other than Spinster. That was my first one. You've never been cool. in a bar fight before, fucking Spencer Jones, either, have you? Uh, no. I run away. I'm smart. <laughs> well, I'd always... How long have you been playing for? Uh, You're a multi instrumentalist. Inch- instrumentalist? Yeah, Inch- multi instruments. Instruments. Instrumentalist? Now he's a multi instruments. He's multi. He plays multiple instruments. You're multi. You, yeah. you, you're multi instruments. Yeah. This is Matt. Yeah, he yeah. Plays bass, but he's multi instrument. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've played guitar since I was like 12. And then. You're a better guitar player than me, I think, at this point. Yeah. 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 Probably. <laughs> and then. Uh, no recording and shit, for sure. Picked up bass probably like four or five years ago. For maybe. those of you who don't know, Matthew plays a five string. Yeah. Well, about eight times out of ten, he's playing a five string. I think sometimes I don't even know. He yeah, I'll bring the four in. Yeah, times. everyone's. I have yet to see it, but we're yet to play with it. Sorry. Yeah. We've yet to play with fucking anything. But anyway, sorry, man. Yeah. yeah, COVID kind of fucked everything up. Shout yeah. out to saying fuck COVID, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, as a musician, man, a lot of a lot of people have been losing their chords. Um, yeah, dude, I've heard of musicians like having to get jobs at grocery stores and shit. Well, see, I'm laid that off right sucks, now. sucks, man. Yeah. That's what I mean, I'm laid off Yeah, right but now. you're not laid off for playing fucking music. No, but I mean, I'm well, fucking I mean, lay that, you that, off, that, that, that was <laughs> That wasn't how I was making my bread, right, obviously. But I, I'm laid off, so I got a lot of time. And generally, if I get laid off, we'd be trying to book shows and practicing because I'm not working. It's wintertime, and everybody in the wintertime, they want to go to a bar where it's nice and warm. Or they want to go to a club and they want to listen to a band because they can go inside. It's nice and warm. They're going to pay what? Fucking 10 bucks at the door. Get some chicken wings. You know what I mean? Like, whatever, right? At least it's a warm place to fucking enjoy some music. But, like, 
COVID, it, it, like winners being laid off. It wasn't Yo, like nice. I think she, I think we might be able to play shows soon though, because I went into just to uh, just John's and there's like there was like a fucking yeah the lockdown's over there's I guess yeah 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 hopefully <laughs> we'll see I really had to push for that for this. <coughs> Okay, it's my turn. Where were we talking about? Oh yeah, it's where we came from. So I started playing drums. Fuck. Fucking frog. Jesus. I don't remember when because I only played for like I used to make rap beats on my laptop. <laughs> and then I just remember the East Fools <laughs> had a band with some fucking skid. Oh, what the fuck is that guy's name? Oh man. Yeah. Anyways, that dude. <laughs> And he would show yeah, up to you've practice. Never drums before in your life. They showed up to practice every week, and he would forget every song. So they ended up kicking him out, and they were looking for a drummer. And then our friend Zoe had a drum kit that she never played. In the attic. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I bought that off of her, and I just I remember fucking around on my laptop making like drum tracks. So then I just applied it to the fucking physical form. Mm -hmm. I never played, played drums before ever and we just stuck them on the kit and we we're like here's the songs and basically what we had was we had a lot of weed yeah and we had a lot of beers and we sat and we, we basically had a record. also a lot of other shit but we're not gonna incriminate ourselves yeah it's a fucking cookies yeah we and we had a lot of cookies yeah we had snacks or sugary snacks double stuffed or sugary snacks um but yeah, we had a recording studio basically where we could jam all day and all night and nobody was going to fucking give a fuck. So when you're laid off all winter and Gary was in the concrete business too, but mm -hmm. more or less running a plant. So the plant shut down all winter, all my working. We had nothing but time to sit in the studio and just piss around for days. So we'd sit for days on end and just play drums, get drunk, sleep a little bit. What the, we had a little Ooh. fucking drink a little bit, smoke a little bit. What was that called? Scrag Team Funk? Scrag Team Funk? Yeah, that's because that, that's how my last band. That's how the Scrags got So yeah. from there, like I stopped playing, I got into some shit, and just didn't play. And then. Yeah, we all fucking got a little carried away after that. And then I picked it back up, and then I was, wasn't living around here. I moved home, and it just so happened our homie Sheldon moved home at the same time I did. Yeah, from and the West. He's like, you still playing drums? I was like, yeah. I, picked it back up and he was still playing guitar so we fucking started with Scraggs and then we met well you filled it you you played bass for us for a bit didn't you I played bass for a little while and then you got Garrett and then yeah. I played guitar for a little while and then you got Ray yeah and then yeah we got Ray shout out Ray we're back miss you brother new feet okay. yeah and then you got Ray and then I fucking cause I don't know we were fucking everything was quiet so I was like, yeah, I mean, you guys were like, I mean, we were hanging out anyway, so I might as well pick up an instrument and jam. You so yeah, we, bass, and play the bass. we solidified the lineup. Scrapes were fun. We went pretty far, pretty fast, but like... I played a couple shows with the Scrapes. Yeah. I played the Marvelous with you guys, playing guitar. What else did I play? Scrape, yeah, it was a good time, man. We played a lot of shows together, a lot of venues. Together, yeah. The old East, we had a couple London shows. We played that one downtown. With that. that venue downtown. Oh, the Richmond's. Yeah, that yeah. brought yelling at cars and shit with the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> with, the radio, with, the, with the dumpster radio and the pizza. Yeah. <laughs> yelling. I'm like, man, if I was in traffic with pizza yelling at cars, you know, quick, I'd be in handcuffs and gone. The cops are like, you better calm down. You better get out of here. Was that my birthday show when Garrett pulled its dick out? Yes, it was when he Big played the baby butt push. ass fucking naked yeah. with the bush hanging over the face. Got what a monster! For that. Somebody took a photo of that. We made stickers out of it. Yeah. The which those stickers are gold. That kid's fucking. Oh, I also <laughs> bought a fucking kids cajon kids. a couple years ago. Yeah, a bunch of acoustic stuff. We do a lot of acoustic stuff. Yeah. I wouldn't mind putting down and making a little. Rico little and the Man. Rico. Played. We, we still get shows. We still shows. get views on Facebook, and we um, played the old Take the Point Hotel. Fucking. 211, 211 was fun. Wow. Yeah, was pretty fun. 211 was, we were still drunk from the night before. We played a show the night before. Good. We were piss ass loaded. Showed up in the morning because I needed the gear to play 211 at like 4 or 5 o'clock. And at 4 or 5 o'clock, I was still, I made and slept for a few hours and we were still fucked. So we just woke up and just started drinking again. And I remember being out back, like on, on leaning on a speaker, being like, I don't know how I'm going to move this gear this high, let alone play it. 
<laughs> but we went in and we played, and I think it was okay. I miss that, man. I like. <laughs> we haven't played there since. So. Yeah. So I don't know if we're right or not. Sometimes you, I don't know. It was yeah, like fucking. It, it was like May two four. It was like May two four. It was one of those long weekends, and we got we. I don't know. We played a party in town. Things got very out of hand. Oh yeah, where the fuck was that? Barb's. Yeah. Barb's birthday party or some shit like that. Dude, that was a sick setup at Barb's house when we played Barb. on. Uh, was it Canada? Yeah, it was Canada. Oh yeah, because oh, I beat those right? fucking kids up <laughs> on the beach. And I had to sit there because oh when God, you guys went yeah. downtown. Right, I forgot. Yeah, um, some kids fucked with the wrong hippie on the beach that weekend too. Don't come down to our fucking our nice little small town and get stupid because this is kind of our beach. And we ate a bunch of mushrooms and we just wanted to swim, and we just wanted to feel the water on our skin. And we wanted to have a nice time. These kids were being dicks, and they, well, what happened was they made the mistake of fucking chirping my girlfriend. They told her to shut the fuck up, and Gary was like, what? <laughs> I'll never forget the sound of that fucking <laughs> fat boy running bah, 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 on the oh. wet sand. Slap, 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 slap. <laughs> slap, 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 slap. I just slap, slap, turn around, boom, take one right to the fucking eyeball. They go rolling in the water, Gary laid a beat on that kid like he owed him fucking money. It was golden. Yeah, I fucked the kid up. And the other guy was skinny dipping. He's naked. Dude, he was naked. <laughs> he got knocked the he fuck out. Naked. naked. And he's naked, passed out, fucking like, well, Dude, he like pretzel. Knocked That's out. cool. Yeah. Like an accordion or something. And his girlfriend, like, picked up her shoes, had, like, her clothes. Fuck like, no. Nope. <laughs> she, like, walks down the beach. <laughs> like, yo, oh, someone should wake that guy up, man. Yeah. What's something that pisses you off? You. Besides me. You pissed me the fuck off. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Why does he piss you off? What the fuck? Because he's committing he ever, genocide. What did he ever do to you? Win, Winnie the Pooh, he's committing genocide. There's jars of honey and his little pig. What? Pie, and then yeah. The Eeyore with the tail. Up in China. Oh, that fucking guy. That guy's a dick. <gasps> yeah. All you kids. What? Don't grow up to be like that fucking asshole. Like what guy? That fucking dick that runs uh, China. Yeah, the dick, the fucking dictator. I think All his right, name is, well, I don't that know, seems like a good place to end up. Uh, it was just kind of fucking <laughs> rambly <laughs> from there yeah, on he, in. He got compared to Winnie the Pooh, and so yeah, thank you guys for listening. Yo, Check us out on Spotify, <laughs> Bandcamp, <laughs> <laughs> iTunes. Yeah, Give us a follow. Like uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, drop us a subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace out. And they're actually filming outside concentration camps. What? Yeah, yeah. In the in the new Mulan, in the credits, they new actually Mulan. thank the paramilitary group that's committing the genocide for being their security force, <laughs> and they filmed it outside of a fucking what? concentration camp. The fuck is going on? Yeah, bro? yeah. Oh, they're doing some crazy things to the fucking. We're not allowed uh, to talk about that to the Uyghurs over there. That go on in the world. Well, that's a good place.